this video shows how to make a hand carved box. I made it out of butternut. You could also use basswood. This box has a lid that an edge that sticks up for the lid to set on. It's two inches across, but of course you could make yours whatever you prefer. It would make a nice small jewelry box or a gift box. Say at Christmas you want to put a ring or earrings or something in it. Then the gift could be the earrings and the box as well. I finished this with beeswax polish. I got the box this far along. I had to make sure it was even. Sorry about the wind, it's a tad loud. I, I got the bottom good and flat, and then after you get it good and flat, you measure up from one spot corner of the bottom, and you make sure that this is the same height all the way around. Mine was a little bit off, so I had to trim it. I used a tape measure. It's flexible, so it's handy. The sewing type tape measure. Just line it up, and then you can measure all the way. Then you can measure all the way around and make marks. I did the same thing with the lid. It was a little bit off, a little thicker on one side than the other. So I measured it and marked it and then trimmed off the extra. So after you get that done, you it'll be different for different boxes. And I actually messed up the box I was working on. So I had to move on to the second box. With this one, it's according to how deep your lid is. So I measured how deep my lid is and you have to take into account there's going to be you're not going to remove all this because there's the thickness of the actual inside of the lid so you have to take that into account when you make your side and I measured down three eighths of an inch from the top all the way around and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a stop cut on that line. And I measured an eighth of an inch all the way around. That's the first line you see there. It's an eighth of an inch from the edge. And I'll be removing that area from this line up to that line. And that will make a, a lip that sticks up for the lid to fit down on. Then after you remove all that area, the only thing left to do is there's a second line here that's a, also an eighth of an inch thick. You, you remove all the excess wood from the inside to that second line. And then you'll have a box that the lid can fit down on. I've already beveled the edge of the lid. The little bevel. I'll be using a knife. Uh, my rotary tool to a certain extent. A lot of times I use the little tiny bit in my rotary tool to do stop cuts. So I'll be using the bit for the stop cut. And I'll use a knife, a gouge, 
and my rotary tool to scoop out the insides. You probably have some easier ways to go about it. That's what tools I have on hand. The box is coming along nicely. I've got the lid rounded or emptied out. And I have this part removed that makes the area for this to sit down on. Now I just need to scoop out the inside. I recommend you do this part of it first before you scoop out the inside. And I also really recommend that you're careful when you, after you mark that line and you carefully measure your line, that you stick as closely as possible to that line and keep it as straight as you can as you're removing that area. That way your lid will set smoothly and correctly. Mine's not perfect. It's as close as I could get it. But I'm okay with it. That's how I know you need to get that line as straight as possible. I used a, a Dremel and I didn't use the tiny bit. I used a, a round Dremel bit. And so that messed up the perfectly straight line. No. I got the box finished and I added a beeswax polish to it. It turned out better than I thought it would. I'm happy with it. Looks like that. There's the inside of the lid. The lid kind of, I have to like turn it to get it in the just the right spot to get it to set right. But after I do that, it's perfectly fine. 